Hello everyone, welcome again to FN Engineering channel. Today, I like to share how to design all fittings in the vessel vessels. Previously, we have discussed regarding design some of the parts in the vessel vessel, including shell, head, nozzle, and flange. If you don't see yet the videos, I recommend you to see the video first. The video can be visited in the link in the description. Before we continue, please support this channel by like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Fittings are part of the pressure vessel that commonly used in piping, inspection, or access maintenance. Many standards describe the fittings. In this video, I only use some of the standards in ESME that commonly used by some companies or engineers. The standards are ESME B16.1, ESME B16.5, ESME B16.9, B16.11, B16.15, ESME B16.25, and ESME B16.28. For detail, I will describe in the next slide. Then, we are going to show some types of fittings based on joint type, configuration, and condition, and others. Meanwhile, like a flange, fittings have ratings to determine the class or strength of the fittings. Next, we will briefly know the common material for fittings. And lastly, we are going to solve the study case of the fittings. Here are some reference or SME standard regarding design of fittings. There are SME B16.1 for cast iron pipe flange and flange fittings. SME B16.5 for pipe flange and flange fittings. SME B16.9 for factory made road but welding fittings. SME B16.11 forge fittings, socket welding, and treated. SME B16.15 for cast copper alloy treated fittings. SME B16.25 for butt welding and and last SME B16.28 for rod steel butt welding, short radius elbows and returns. Now, now turn on to the type of fittings. Based on joints, there are three types of fittings joint, namely flange joint, welded or pipe joint, and 3D joint. Then, based on configuration, there are two ways, three ways, and four ways. The example of two ways are elbow, 45 degree elbow and 180 degree return. Meanwhile, fittings of three ways are T, 45 degree lateral, and true way. The last is four way, such as cross fittings. The other types is based on end position. We commonly use plugs, bushings, and caps. In addition, we also often use other fittings including concentric or eccentric reducer, coupling, nipples, and stump end. The next material is pressure rating of fittings. Some standards use different ratings, for example, SME B16.5 uses different class for rating, including 150, 300, 400, 600, 900, 1500, and 2500. SME B16.9 is like SME 36.10, using the calculation in the SME section 
8 question UG 27 or military appendix 11 next ESMB B16.11 uses class 2000, 3000, and 6000 for 3D fittings and class 3000, 6000, and 9000 for socket weld fittings now turn on to the commonly used material for fittings here is the table regarding the example material of fittings Fitting materials can be formed from forging material, casting material, or butt weld fittings. Commercial materials are commonly using SA 1.5 for forged material, SA 216 casting material, and SA 234 for butt weld fittings. Meanwhile, loy carbon steel material can be formed SA350, SA352, or SA420. The next stainless steel material can be formed SA182, SA217, SA351, or SA403. For your information, I don't write material types in detail so that we can see the same material including SA182 and SA403. If you write in detail, they can be SA182F304, SA182F9, SA403WV. 316 or others. Now, turn on to the study case of fittings. We get some input data such as descent data, type of fittings, type of joints, dimension, and materials. Descent pressure is 5 MPa, descent temperature is 170 degrees Celsius, working fluid is steam. Type of fittings can be elbow, coupling, or caps. The type of joint is welded or treated. The size is using nominal pipe size 2 inch, and the material is SA105. For detail, we solve this case in the spreadsheet file. Alright, we are going to solve the calculation. First of all, we are going to solve the welded fittings or socket weld fittings. We use ESME B1611 for forged fittings, socket weld fittings, and 3D fittings. In this standard, we use table 4 to know the dimension. Alright, we try to input or assume data one by one. First, internal descent pressure is 5 MPa. Corrosion allowance is 2 mm for carbon steel material. Joint efficiency is 0.7. We assume non radiography. Next, lower stress is 138 MPa. We get from table 1A in SME section 2D metric. Then, TUG 16B is 2.5 mm. Because the surface is steam fluid, TUG 16B corroded is calculated by 8 corrosion allowance 3 mm. Then we input the fitting class. For socket weld fitting, it can be class 3000, 6000, or 9000. We try from the smallest value. For D or socket bore welded, we get from table 4, ESME B16.11, we get 61.7 or 61.2. We use the Roger value. The thickness required. 
or GR is calculated from equation UG27. Thickness required is the largest value between GR or TUG16B. Then we guess nominal thickness or TN from the table. We use 3000 class, so the thickness nominal is 6.04. 6 if we try class 6000, nominal thickness is 9.50. Then we also calculate diameter board because socket weld fitting has two boards and thickness dimension for socket weld and board diameter. Board diameter is 53.3 for class 3000 and nominal thickness is 5.54 mm okay, so the thickness is acceptable for calculation other type of socket weld is the same including couplings or caps because the dimension in table 4 in B1611 is same all right all type of coping is acceptable the next case is the calculation for 3d fittings to summarize we use equation mandatory appendix 1 1 like with cell thickness calculation with outside diameter given data in addition for elbow fittings we have to check the wall thickness in the 3D and elbow radius. Alright, we input one by one to the speed sheet. Distance internal pressure is 5 MPa. Corrosion allowance is 3 mm. Unit efficiency 0.7. Global stress is 138 MPa. TUG16B is 2.5 mm. Then we assume the fitting class. We try to the smallest class. Elbow is class 2000. Meanwhile, the smallest class for coupling and cap is 3000. Also diameter is obtained from table 5. Meanwhile, nominal thickness for the wall in the elbow from table 5 also. Meanwhile, for others, they get from ESMB B36.10. For your information, we have to know the correlation between class and schedule from fittings if we use ESME B36.10 We can know from ESME B16.11 table 2 For detail you can see you can see the table 3 fitting class 2000 is same with pipe schedule 80 or XS Meanwhile for socket well fittings Class 3000 is similar with Schedule 80 and others. Alright, we get the Class 3000 for coupling and cap fittings. For elbow, the Class 2000 is not acceptable. So, we try to the larger class. Alright, the elbow fitting is also class 3000. Alright, we have done calculated for study case, socket weld and 3 fittings. We get class 3000 for all type of fittings. The next material is some of the parts in the presto vessel that related to the nozzle flange and fittings that are reinforcement 
We will describe the important point of reinforcement including difference, requirements, type of reinforcement, common materials, and of course, study case. But, the detailed material will be explained in the next video, inshallah. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my video. If you have some comments or suggestion, please write on the comment column. If you get something new from this video, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, share this video or channel to others, and turn on the notification from this channel to get updated video from FN Engineering channel. See you next time.